If you need to take in information or are studying and need a monitor that helps not hinders that process, then the Quarry Mate View might just be the perfect choice. Monitor reviews tend to concentrate on the needs of the high-end users. So for example, video editors who need something very specific or hardcore gamers. But what if you are a person who needs to study for a long time? You need something that is not going to overly stimulate your eyes, something that can allow you to take in as much information as possible, to be able to make your notes, to be able to concentrate, and so that you can continue with your learning process. So this is a review of a monitor specifically for people who are students, for people who are learning. As monitors go, this is beautiful in its millimeter aesthetic. There's no gaudiness, there's just purity. It has a 92% screen to body ratio. And so when you look at the left and right and top borders, they're almost non-existent. And this is really useful because if you want to have a two screen experience, put two monitors together, the transition of moving your mouse from one to the other will be seamless. Monitor stands can be unnecessarily complicated to put together. But this was so easy, I didn't even need to look at a manual. It's literally a case of lifting the monitor and putting it on the stand. In terms of weight, it's 3.3 kilos, which means it's you know quite light to carry, no heaviness there. But there is something about the stand that I will talk about a little bit later. Image quality is much better than your standard office monitor. Colors are beautiful and accurate, although of course not to the level that you would be required for a professional video editing machine. But compared to a standard monitor, which is what I did, the colors look much richer, much brighter, and there is far more contrast. It uses an IPS display, and it shows 90% of the P3 color gamut, which means it shows a broad spectrum of the colors that are available. So you get that subtlety and that richness of color. Static contrast ratio is 1000 to 1, and brightness 250 nits. So all these are sort of standard for what you would expect of a monitor of this caliber. Underneath the bottom edge is a discrete joystick, which is used to access the on-screen controls. There are a number of picture modes depending on what you want to use it for. So the main one, the one that you'll most likely want to use is P3. And this is good for all round general purpose use, you know, um, word processing, internet use, research, all of that. Colors tend to be brighter and more natural. Then there is the HDR mode, and this gives uh, more warmth to the colors and it gives better contrast. And I find that this is actually better if you're watching a video or a movie or looking at certain types of pictures. There is also a game mode, and this is best if you are playing video games that require a fast reaction. And what the monitor does is it turns off unnecessary image processing and it just means that you will be able to get a faster response on screen to your controller input. sRGB seems worse than everything. It's meant to be the most color accurate for using the web and productivity applications. But in comparison to P3, colors just seem muted. So through my use, through my testing it out, I didn't find it useful at all. And there is ebook mode. Right, let's take a look at the MateView's reason for being. Now, your eyes get tired for multiple reasons. Huawei, they've taken a good stab at trying to deal with all of them. In fact, it's received a comfort certificate for this monitor from an organization that tests eye comfort. The refresh rate is above the standard for office monitors, which is around 60 hertz, and this is 75 hertz. It just means that when you do have any sort of animation or uh, moving graphics, or just in general use, you get a smoother image. Huawei describe it as flicker-free, and what this is, is that with a monitor, it normally adjusts the light that comes out so that it sometimes goes a little bit darker, a little bit brighter. And in general use, we tend to not notice this. But what it does, what it, the effect it has on us, is that it tires our eyes. So what Huawei claim is that with this monitor, the light the monitor emits, it's a steady constant. That flickering is not there. You just have a steady constant image. And in practice, the feeling of using it is that there is like a, a visual calm on the eyes. That's why if you've been in the office all day using a monitor and your eyes are so tired and they're itchy and they're red, it's probably because you've got a monitor that is flickering too much. There is also a eye comfort mode, which reduces the blue light that comes through. So there have been multiple studies that have suggested that the blue light that comes out from our screens 
can have an effect on us, both in making that our eyes feel tired, but more than that, it can stimulate us so that we can, um, so that we find it difficult to go to sleep. That's why there's always that advice, don't use your monitor or don't use your smartphone just before bedtime. What this does, what this special eye comfort mode does, is it reduces the amount of blue light. And this can be really useful because if you are using your monitor quite late at night, you don't want to be overly stimulated because at come that time that you do decide to go to bed, you don't want to be feeling wired. You need that sleep. As a student, you need that sleep. It has a matte screen, which makes it less reflective. And this is especially useful if you're in a room where there are a lot of lights that can reflect off the screen. Because if you reduce that light, then it's reducing the amount of light that goes into your eyes, making them less tired. A big part of the student experience is reading. When I was studying for my master's a little over three years ago, I was having to read through tons of documents, peer reviews, uh, all sorts of things. And when you've got all these documents and you're trying to read them on screen, it absolutely does tire the eyes. And so what is really good about this particular monitor is it has a special ebook reading mode. And the way Huawei describe it is, when reading black and white text, it simulates the same depth as if you were reading paper, making reading documents so much clearer and more comfortable. Now, I've tried to find a definition of what the reading depth of paper means. But in practice, in my use of it, it tends to dim the colours and it makes it a little bit easier on the eyes. It also thickens the fonts. And if you pair the ebook feature with the reader view of Apple computers and Apple iPads, what that does is it minimalizes the on-screen clutter. And so those two effects together, it can make it a much easier experience when you are having to read through multiple documents. When I've been trying to study something, I've historically printed out documents and used felt tips and colored markers to highlight certain areas. And I think this is because for most people, we tend to find that it's easier to comprehend, to understand from a piece of paper, a sheet. There are a number of tests that sort of reveal that comprehension is more difficult with digital devices. But this is a science that, is, that needs more investigation. The point being that Huawei Mate U is trying to replicate that reading experience on screen because you cannot avoid that you just need a screen to study nowadays. The basic stand that comes with this monitor is not good. It's easy to put together and it's tilt adjustable. But the problem is it rocks. In fact, it wibbles and it wobbles so much that it actually looks like it's dancing. And when you are trying to concentrate, when you are trying to reduce eye discomfort and you have this screen moving around, it adds an unnecessary problem. And so it kind of undermines all the good features that it has. A good monitor is not going to make you a better student. But if you can have one that can help you focus better and learn for longer, then that's worth having.